Are you having a problem in your dating or relationship life and you need a question answered? Well, go to my website. The link is in the podcast description and you'll see how you can ask Yaz a question and get it answered confidentially. So go to the podcast description and look for the link where it talks about how Yaz will answer your question. Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. Today, I'm going to answer um, a listener's question. She had written to me and she wanted to know, um, should you ever give your ex a second chance? Okay. Here's what she wrote. She said, I wanted to ask your advice on whether you think you should ever give your ex a chance. I broke up with my guy of seven months because although we got on very well and I was crazy about him, I felt that he wasn't putting in much effort. He wasn't a bad or mean guy at all, just a little bit lazy in relationship terms. I didn't feel as appreciated as I would have liked, so I ended it. Over three months have gone by with no contact on either side, and then, boom, a few days ago, he contacted me to invite me for a coffee. We're meeting next week. I have no idea why he wants to meet. He didn't say in his message, but I can't help but feel excited. Okay? Here's the thing, you guys. Should you ever take your ex back? Oh, my God. This is such a popular question that a lot of people ask. Here's the thing with this, okay? I'm going to go through the basics. First of all, let me just say one thing. When you break up with somebody you break up for a reason, okay? There was something in that relationship that wasn't making you happy or wasn't making the other person happy. And you have to face that. You can't just look at the relationship from one side as far as, you know, you can't just look at just the good of the relationship. And this is what a lot of people do that have heartbreaks, that break up in a relationship and they're they're mourning that person, okay? Because either that person broke up with them or you broke up with them because that person, you know, was breaking your boundaries. And then you sit there after being broken up, you feel this pit of emptiness and you're sad, and you're depressed, but you're not thinking about why you broke up with that person. You're not thinking about what it was that made you unhappy. You're just thinking of the romantic things about it. You're thinking of the passion. You're thinking of the sex. You're not thinking about what that person did that made you unhappy. Or maybe you guys weren't right for each other. Or maybe that person couldn't be with just one person. Okay? You've got to accept things for what they are, you guys. I'm I'm a true realist, all right? I mean, I could sit here and I could candy coat things, but what good would that do to you, really, okay, to live in a bubble and then one day, you know, uh, just prolong the inevitable hurt, okay? You need to be able to see things for what they are so that you don't make the same mistakes. So here's the thing, all right? She breaks up with this guy because she feels he's not making an effort, all right? Now, here's the thing. When you're in a relationship... This is why communication is key, all right? You've got, I'll tell you why. Because if you don't communicate and you break up, you're going to say to yourself, well, you know, I really didn't communicate to this person what it was that was bothering me, this and that. So how can you expect that person to do better if you haven't communicated with them in the right way or given them a chance? Now, It's one thing to give somebody a chance. It's another thing to be a fool and keep taking somebody back. I will tell you, I will tell you from my experience, which believe me is great, okay? I will tell you that most of the times that person is not going to change. They'll come back. Things will be great for a while because it's all new. They missed you and they're on their best behavior. All right. But as time goes on, they start to revert back to their old ways. Now, should you take your ex back? Here's another thing too. 
you have to look at why you broke up. You have to look at why you broke up. There are certain things that can't be excused, okay? So here's here's what I'm trying to tell you guys. If you were dealing with somebody who cheated on their ex, then cheated on you, okay? And now this person's trying to come back into your life. What do you think the odds are that they're going to cheat on you in the future? A pretty darn high, okay? Pretty darn high. It's going to happen again. And the minute that you take that person back, your value goes to zero, okay? Now this person knows they got you wrapped around their finger. And when somebody has you wrapped around their finger, that's when they take advantage, all right? Now, there are very, very, very rare circumstances where you would take your ex back, okay? I will say that 99% of the time, you should not take back your ex, okay? You should not take your back, back your ex unless you broke up over petty kind of reasons, all right? Like, for instance, they, you know, didn't clean up the kitchen or something like that. Or, you know, just small stuff that maybe you fought about that really in the, you know, the big scheme of things is not a big deal. But if you broke up over major issues like family, all right, this is a big one, you guys. I keep bringing this up because I could relate to this. If you broke up over family issues, let's say you didn't get along with his mother or you didn't get along with her mother, right? And that person didn't stand up for you. That is that is not somebody you want to take back, okay? That is just the nightmare coming back. If you broke up with somebody who wasn't pulling their weight financially, here's the thing, you guys. Everybody has a basic nature, all right? Like, in other words, my, my ex, ex, ex-boyfriend when I was very young, all right? Great guy in a lot of ways, but he couldn't get it together financially, all right? This guy got me a huge diamond ring, beautiful ring, after uh, it was like two months, okay? I was in my early 20s and everything like that, but he didn't have it together financially, okay? And we came from different kind of worlds, all right? And although, you know, he was a good person and everything like that, I knew that if I married this guy, it was going to be hard. It was going to fall all on me because he just didn't have drive. Now, I'm not talking about you got to be rich, all right? But you got to be able to pull your weight, okay? And I was not going to change his basic nature. Now, I'm going to tell you, years later, years later, okay, he is still the same guy in the same place. He's not able to sustain himself. So things wouldn't have changed with that, okay? And, you know, after I ended up breaking up with him, that's when I met my husband. So here's the point. Here's the point, okay, you guys? The point is, the point is people, you know, Their basic nature is their basic nature. If somebody was nasty to you, let's say they called you a bitch all the time and you allowed that, it's going to go from a bitch and it could go into something worse, okay? This is how the people test you to see how much you take. You know, that's why I tell you, you got to check them from the onset, Check them from the onset because the minute that they see that you take certain um, things from them, all right, you're accepting certain behaviors from them, then they know they could push a little more and they could push a little more, okay? And in abusive relationships, like let's say physically abusive relationships, a lot of times how it starts is sometimes these people are the most charming people in the world, okay? You would never think that these people would ever hurt you because they're so loving in the beginning. And then what happens is they start, they get mad because they don't get their way or they're controlling. They don't, they want to have the control. They want you to check in with them, 
all right? Then they start out calling you bitch this or bitch that, and you don't check them, and they say, oh, I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. Then it gets worse. Then it could be a slap. Then it could be break your nose. And then the next thing you end up on Dateline of 48 hours, you know, in some kind of murder mystery. So this is what I'm telling you. Anybody who does any kind of um, abusive type of behavior, such as, you know, any kind of physically, emotionally, you got to drop them and drop them cold, okay? There are no second chances with that, all right? That person's character is not going to change, all right? Everybody has a basic character. Now, there are very rare instances where a cer- where a, a particular person may have you know broke your boundaries and they are truly truly sorry now they could be truly sorry but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that they won't fall back into the old ways because this is their pattern. This is what they know. This is why I tell you to watch the pattern of somebody. What's the pattern of somebody? Look at their prior dating history. Look at how they treated their exes. Look at how they treat their family. If they have kids, how do they treat their kids? Do they treat their kids well? Okay. This all gives you clues as to who this person is. And you, you know, you could either be a dummy and bury your head in the sand, or you could be woke to this and say to yourself, oh, you know, I don't like the way he's talking to the wait staff. Because you know what? The way he or she, if it's the other way around, is talking to somebody or treating somebody is the way it's going to project onto you. And this happens a lot of times with a lot of women that date bad boys. Okay. They go, Oh, it's so romantic to go out with a bad boy. Oh yeah. Okay. We all went through that phase when we were younger until we got older, you know, the smart ones and realized that a bad boy will only bring headaches to you. Okay. Because they have a certain way that they live. Okay. A lot of times a bad boy, you know, he wants his own way. Okay. And that means even in the relationship with you, he's going to, it's going to be his way or the highway. Okay. A lot of times, and I'm not saying all, a, a lot of times, A lot of bad boys are big time cheaters. It goes with the territory. Okay, this is who you picked. This is who you picked. And depending on what we consider bad boy, that could be defined in a lot of different ways. I mean, there's bad boys and then there's bad boys. Okay, I've seen them in all realms. I've seen bad boys in prison. Okay, and I've seen bad boys, just a regular, you know, non-criminal bad boy. All right, that just does certain things. Okay. But the point is it's a headache, you guys, it's a headache. So you either want to be smart or you want mess in your life. Okay. But getting back to the main point here, the main point is, should you ever take your ex back? Personally, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Personally, I would say no. Okay. No. You know, you broke up for a reason, okay? You need to think of why you broke up, okay? And you need to say to yourself, if that person did whatever they did was the reason that you broke up, is that something that you could live with? Is that something that you could live with? Now, if it's something that you could live with, then fine, you know, you want to take them back. That's one thing. But it's, if it's something that you can't live with, then why are you going to take them back and set yourself up for it happening again? And I'll tell you another important, important point why you shouldn't take your exes back. Because once you take your ex back, okay, for whatever reason, once you take them back, they know they have that power over you. Okay. And what that means is they know that even though they may break your boundaries in the future, in their mind, they feel you will always be there. And the minute that that person has that, that sense of security, knowing that you're always going to be there is there is no threat. 
There is no threat of you really cutting them off. In other words, your word doesn't mean anything, okay? Because you took them back. You took them back. I would say the only time that you should take an ex back is if you broke up over very small, uh, menial things that was really petty stuff, okay? Real petty, petty stuff, all right? But in my mind, if I broke up with an ex, I'm going to look at that ex and I'm going to I'm going to think hard and I'm not going to think about the good times. I'm going to think about what was it that caused the breakup and could I deal with this if this person starts doing again, okay? I have to realize why did I break up? There was something there that made me unhappy, okay? Or there was something there that was making the relationship not working in a healthy way, okay? And I don't want to waste my time, okay? I already, this person showed me who they were. Now she is saying he didn't put in the effort. He didn't put in the effort. My personal opinion, you could sit down, you could talk to him, you could, you know, see what he has to say, Okay, if it was just like I said, if it was a breakup over small little things, okay, that's one thing. Okay, but major boundaries, no, we don't take people back. We don't take people back for cheating. We don't take people back for abusive type of things. We don't take people back for, uh, you know, making us their second best, okay? Don't forget, people come back. We just had the same scenario in our group, okay? This girl was dating this guy, and three months later, they broke up. Well, they were dating, right? They weren't really technically in a relationship. And he told her, you know, she had kids and he wanted somebody whose kids were grown and out of the house. And he just, you know, he, he just wanted to be friends with her. He didn't want to deal with her kids. Okay. So they ended up stopped, they stopped talking and he, he contacted her three months later and told her, you know, he wants to be friends with her again. He wants to be friends with her again because he's not having luck out there. And he came back to her. Okay. Now we had some people say in the group, well, maybe he realized what he lost. It wouldn't take somebody three months to realize what he lost. And when he came back, he didn't come back to be in a relationship with her. See, this is why you gotta, you gotta look at the specifics of it. He said he wanted to be a friend. Okay. Not that he wanted something serious with her. And he already told her he had an issue with kids. Red flag, red flag, red flag. Your kids come first. Bottom line, your kids come first. And if he had an issue with her kids, all right, he is not for her. She needs to cut that tie, all right? Cut that tie. That guy is wasting your time. That guy is looking to come in your life and look for a friends with benefits. Believe me when I tell you, that is the truth, okay? Period, dot, end of story, all right? You know, they come back. This is what they do. They come back and they try to make, I really miss you. I really miss you. Yeah, well, if you missed me, it wouldn't take you three months, okay? Guess you're going through a dry spell, okay? You don't you don't tell them that, but I'm just telling you, in your mind, you know what it is, you guys. Don't be naive, all right? I, I hate to come down hard on you, but sometimes you got to hear it for what it is, all right? This is how people play games on you, all right? People that care don't walk away, all right? So getting back to this girl, um, and I just want to send a big shout out to her, okay, Um, that sent me this letter about should you ever take your ex back, I want you to look at, I want you to make a list, okay, and I want you to put the good and the bad on the list, and I want you to look at why you broke up, you said he wasn't making the effort, right, and that you know, that seems very loose, like make an effort. How, how did he not make the effort? This is what I wanted to, you know, ask you. Is it that he wasn't seeing you enough? Was he not calling you enough? You know, how much 
energy somebody gives you is how much they care. He may not have been making the effort because he could have been seeing other people on the side. Now, I'm not saying he was because I don't know him and I don't know the specifics of the relationship. Or it could just be he's a laid back type of dude, okay, that doesn't know better. All right. But you need to, you know, you need to see if, you know, if you could sit down and talk to him and it, and tell him, you know, exactly what you need in a relationship, communicate, communicate, communicate. Don't be shy. Okay. You got to tell people what you want. All right. And don't be afraid to tell them. So many women are afraid of that. They're so, or men too. They're afraid to communicate what they want. You know, this is your life. You only get one life, you guys. So, you know, stop tiptoeing around people. Just be nice about it. You don't have to have a hard edge or anything like that, you know. Just be nice about it. Let people know, you know, this is what I'm looking for. This is how I want a relationship. And this is how I, this is my views on relationships. And this is what I need. You know, are we on the same page? Is this what you're looking for? You know, and you see that person's response and you tell them what you need in order for the relationship to work. Now, either they're on board or they're not. Okay. And you got to look at their response. You got to look at their response and you got to size these people up and see, you know, is this person really in or is this person just saying they're in? Okay. And if you go back to that, you know, you have to see by their actions, not just their words. We're not going to deal with, uh, oh, you know, yeah, I will. I No, there is no, I will. You do it. That's it. All right. If, if you do take somebody back for, you know, whatever reason, if they break your boundary again, you've got to get rid of them, okay? Or just set your life up to be a sucker the rest of your life, okay? Because you got to follow a boundary or you're just going to, you know, you're going to look weak. They're going to overstep your boundaries and, you know, it's going to get worse down the road. Believe me when I tell you, but the only case I... You should really take an ex back. Personally, I think an ex is an ex for a reason, okay, you guys? That's the person. They showed you who they are. You know, as long as you had communicated with them what you wanted in the relationship, they knew the terms of the relationship. This is what I mean. You know, it's like, it's like, it's like in legal, we have terms of the relationship, contracts, okay? You, it's business. We go into it, except relationships are a little different because we're dealing with emotions, all right? But a relationship, there's certain terms, all right? What are the terms that you agree with? What are the terms that you agree with? In other words, I'm not going to have your, you going out with your friends every night of the week. I'm not going to have you not call me all night long, you guys, you got to get your terms um, in agreement with whoever you get in a relationship with. So if they know where you stand on certain issues and they break those boundaries, that's it. You give them one pass, okay? If they do it again, you have to walk away, okay? You have to walk away, all right? So I hope that helps you guys. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. Please share the podcast on your social media. I would really appreciate it. And have a great day, you guys. Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. I want to tell you about my two books that are on Amazon, okay? You can download them free with the trial membership from Kindle. The first book is Regain Your Power. If you're in a relationship and you feel like your partner has all the control in the relationship, maybe you're walking around on eggshells, you're afraid to approach them, it's going to tell you how to regain your power and, and be happy in the relationship, okay? And what you may be doing wrong and that's why your partner has all the control in the relationship. The other book is he's Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time. There's a lot of people that are dating someone or in a relationship with somebody who's not really vested in the relationship. And 
We, we often are confused as to whether our partner really likes us or is into us or wants a future with us. And this book is gonna give you signs and red flags of whether your partner is into you or he's just basically drifting and wasting your time. So go to Amazon and download the Kindle free trial membership. Doesn't cost you anything and check it out. It may help you. Okay, and have a great day.